Good morning, friends. Hope y'all are having a fantastic Saturday morning. I just got up, I took my dogs out, and now I'm going to sit down and have a cup of coffee. And I've got a few little huh, Nutter Butter cookies over here because I need to get something in my stomach because I have a slight headache this morning. Um, it kind of hit me earlier this morning and I was trying to kind of sleep it off. It's about 7.40 right now. Um, it is not working. So we're going to get something in my tummy and take some meds for that. And then we're going to get ready because I think me and my oldest son, Josh, is going to go to the flea market today and kind of look around and everything. And then I don't know how much more after that, but we shall see. So I am going to have my coffee <laughs> and a little bit of a chill time and then we'll get ready to go. I hope y'all have a great day. All right, y'all, so it is now almost 11. Um, that little bitty headache turned into a huge migraine, so. I took some Advil and I went and laid back down, but I just got up, I took the dogs out um, to make sure that, you know, they were good to go, and what is up with my hair? Anywho, <laughs> since I got that done, um, I'm just going to put my hair together a little bit. It's my finger's stuck. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. It's not going to be nothing fancy. That one piece of hair keeps wanting to stick out right there for some reason. <sighs> Hang on. Alright. That was harder than what it should have been. But anyways, like I said, I laid back down. So, I'm just going to put some simple makeup on today to cover these. Um, I have not been sleeping well lately, and that's probably contributing to my headaches. I don't know, my dogs haven't been sleeping well, so when they don't sleep well, neither do I. Like I said, I'm not putting on a bunch of makeup. And I really don't know what we're going to do today, but I know i got to go to the bank. And I know I want to go spray my car off because they mowed the grass while I was working yesterday and they sprayed it all over my car. So, anyways, that's a little bit of what we're going to do. We might go into Ollie's. Um, I don't know yet. But anyways, I'm gonna finish getting ready and then I'll pick you back up. That is it, y'all. So now let's go ahead and see what we're gonna do. Like I said, we're gonna go to the bank first and I need to get a package sent back too. So I need to finish that up. So Probably the post office, then the bank, and then we're going to the car wash. Yeah, so let's go. It's a bright, bright day out here, but it's gorgeous. Look at those skies. Pretty day. I just hope my headache don't come back. But we shall see. Ooh, bitch, it's hot in this car. I know. Very bad angles. <laughs> so, we are out and about. Well, I'm in my driveway, not really out and about. Um, so, like I was saying before, I feel like I'm repeating myself a lot. I gotta get some air on. Um, I need to go to the bank. Um, I think I'll just take that stuff to the post office on 
Monday since everything's getting ready to close because everything, the banks and um, the post office here closes at noon on Saturdays. So, and I don't want to be out all day, but anyways, I'm going to flip y'all around and we're going to head down the road. that was exciting <laughs> it cost $35 to fill my car up from half a tank I don't know how people are gonna do it and that's all I'm gonna say about the matter I get so so frustrated with everything that's going on in the world and everybody just wants to sit back and, and say nothing about it and I have a hard time keeping my mouth shut on certain platforms because I know what kind of grief I'll get. Let me just put it that way. Um, but it's it's sad. It is a very sad world we're living in. And it's only going to get worse. And I'm going to leave it at that. So, $35 later. And I have a full tank of gas. I swear it used to only cost maybe $20, if that, for almost a full tank of gas in my car. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to the bank. So I just thought I'd flip you back around since I'm waiting here at the bank. Um, how is y'all Saturday going? Of course, y'all won't see this till Thursday. So how is your Thursday going? <laughs> um, I love my cup. Isn't it cute? Tony over at um, Chaotic Country made this for me. Um, her uh, Etsy shop is Sunflower Directive. So I will have that linked below if you all would like a cup or a t-shirt or anything. She makes all kinds of cool stuff. So... If you want something fun like that, go check her out. Like I said, I'll have it linked below. And yeah, I swear. Sometimes I, hair is tickling me. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get to move up to the checkout or teller lane here in a second, but we shall see. And I think we might go to the car wash after this because I really need to wash this car because it looks terrible. Terrible. Anyways, I'll catch y'all here in a few.
Well, that was fun. Let me get y'all back up here. I'll flip you around in a minute. <clears throat> I love that car wash. Absolutely love it. So, I think we'll just go ahead and run into Walmart since I'm over here and get the stuff we need um, for the week. And just go ahead and do the grocery haul. And I went to grill some chicken tonight since it's so pretty. Um, so, I'll just cook that on my Blackstone with some veggies and something like that. So, um, so that's what we're going to go ahead and do. And we might see what kind of new items is um, at Walmart. Been a little bit since I've been in there, so they might have something different. Who knows? But, anyways, I might have to take some more Advil. <laughs> I can kind of feel my head start getting a little bit irritated with me right now. So, yeah, I'll probably um, take some more Advil here in a second and then, but get that taken care of before it gets worse. So, let's go see what's in Walmart. All right, so we are here. I was gonna try to flip you around. We're getting a Starbucks built in our Walmart parking lot um, down towards the outer edge of it. And I'm gonna try to flip you around when I get out and kind of show you where it is. Um, but I might not be able to show you. It's just a fenced in area right now. Woo, I was really super close. But yeah, it's just a fenced in area right now. Um, let me see. I think there might be too many vehicles blocking it, so I ain't gonna worry about it. But we are getting a Starbucks, and I'm very excited about that. Um, I do like their coffees. They're pretty good. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get on into Walmart, y'all. As a young girl, it feels worth we played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl, daydreamer, kidnap me, take me back all the way back. All right, y'all, I got what I needed from Walmart and I'll probably just go to Food Line tomorrow and do the grocery haul and everything. Um, but I'll show you what I got in this haul when I get home <laughs> and um, just make it part of the vlog, put that little bit of haul in there. Um, found some deals on some clothes and stuff for summer. And then of course, like I said, I got some food that you can't get at Walmart or at Food Line. So, um, that's about it. It's hot in here. It doesn't feel like my air is working. But anyways, I'm going to go and get me something to eat. I think that might help my head because all I have are like four little cookies with my coffee this morning and that's all I've had and it's now almost 1.30. So I'm going to go through probably Arby's and get something to eat. But let me show you this. I grew up in Mississippi. And I come up here when um, I was younger. Um, I guess you could say I've been up here longer than I've been in Mississippi. But Mississippi's always home. But anyways, these are the drinks that I loved when I was little. You couldn't hardly find them up here at all. Well, actually, you couldn't find them up here at all. And I guess they're st starting to make their way up here, which I'm so happy about. But these right here, these are the Tahitian treat drinks. Anytime I go down south, I usually come home with a couple you know 12 packs or more than that and I just space them out throughout the year so I can still have them but anyways I'm so happy that I could find it up here and I was so excited so now I've got me a drink I'm gonna go get me something to eat all 
All right, guys, I just finished filming the grocery haul, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip you around and show you everything we got for this um, since I'm vlogging today. And you can kinda just glance over it a little bit, but just make sure you watch my grocery haul because it'll be up before this vlog will. So anyways, um, I gotta get all this put around, but I just wanna you know, kinda glance over everything with you because I told you I was gonna show you what we got and I will. So this is what we got at Walmart today. So they had this Pioneer Woman stuff on sale, so I just went ahead and picked up the king size. It's really pretty. Look at that. So pretty. So I picked that up and some shams and some more pillowcases. And then we just got some food here, some chicken, popcorn chicken, meatballs, um, some breakfast items, some drink mixes, milk and creamer. That's a staple. Got to have it. <laughs> some mini donuts for breakfast as well. Some eggs and bread. Um, spaghetti mix and suddenly salad. Like I said, this week was going to be a fill-in haul anyways because we're going to shop from our pantry and um, deep freezes to make dinners this week. And then, of course, we needed some hand soaps and some other um, bathing items and stuff like I was telling them in the grocery haul. That's what I use when I go lay out in the sun or if I'm just going to be out in the sun because it's so good for your skin because it's... Um, coconut oil infused so I know it's for your hair but this is what I use and it's worked wonderful and then I just got some other non-food items some sandwich bags some plates press and seal saran wrap and these little bitty bowls for like sauces and stuff I thought they're so cute so I got some of them paper plates trash bags toilet paper and I got me some clothes <laughs> so that is all we got at Walmart today I've got to put all this stuff up, which is so much fun. <laughs> and then we're going to get the chicken ready and we're going to get it marinating so we can get that out on the Blackstone for dinner. I do need to figure out what I'm going to make with it though. Probably some squash and zucchini, something light and easy. So sounds good to me. Anyways, let me get this stuff put up and then I'll be right back. All right, so we're getting ready to go ahead and clean up that chicken. This is the um, marinade I was telling you about, the garlic and herb. So I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, portion this off, put some in a freezer bag for another meal, and then get some ready to sit in marinade so we can cook it on the Blackstone later. All right, so we have our chicken to freeze. It's cut in half, it's ready to go, it's all cleaned up. And then this bag is what we're gonna put this marinade in. I probably won't use the whole thing because I think I'm gonna make some potatoes in this same seasoning, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Y'all will see it when I see it. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna leave about I don't know, like a half a cup in the bottom. I think that'll be enough to season the potatoes. So we are just gonna, oh my gosh, that smells good. I love this stuff. Actually, the first person I ever see use it was Tiffany over at Large Family Love. Um, I think they've used this quite a bit and she loves it too. So it is a very tasty. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in the refrigerator and let it marinate for a little while until it's time to cook. It's only 2.40 right now. I probably won't start cooking until about six. So that's got a good, at least a couple hours, three hours and so to marinate. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so we've got that chicken done. The one is in the freezer and the other is, uh-huh, yeah. My house is a mess too, by the way, because I woke up with a migraine, so I haven't even cleaned yet and I need to do that. And I will <laughs> eventually. But, I need to take care of these little guys and go outside and walk them because that's what they're telling me. They got to go outside. Do you got to go out? Do you got to go outside? Huh? Do you got to go outside? Do you? you got to go outside? All right. So, I'm going to get them ready to go outside. And then, as y'all can see, I got a sink full of dishes right there. Real mom life over here, y'all. <laughs> All right. All 
All right, y'all. So we are done walking the dogs. My hair's going crazy. Um, <laughs> I've got the chicken marinating for dinner. So I'm going to go ahead and call this good for this vlog, but I'll show you cooking the chicken and the finished plate and everything. So you all can still see dinner, but I've got to get busy cleaning this house and my phone's getting ready to die. <laughs> so I won't be able to record too much. I've got to put this on charge, but, um, just, I'm just so happy that y'all enjoy my vlogs because sometimes I feel like I ramble in these and that they don't make too much sense to be quite honest. But I try my best and I hope you all um, really do enjoy these. Um, if you do, give me a thumbs up. Let me know below. Leave me a comment. Um, I love talking with you all. But until next time, God bless my friends. Bye.